Hi there, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can align some text under each other using tabs tool in InDesign. In here, I have a small uh, example that I wanted to use a tabs tool to align these data under each other. So as you can see here, we have name, ID, year, and paid, and the information under this. The first step is turning on the hidden characters. To do that, you need to go to type, select show hidden characters. There it is. So the only hidden character in this text is the inter character, which created the rest of the text after that in a new line or create a new paragraph. But to have a separation between this text, uh, we need to, normally we use a space, but in here, instead of the space, we use tab. So just between name and ID, press a one time tab key in the keyboard. Okay, so this symbol represents tab in the keyboard. Just press once tab in between the text. Okay. Maybe you have it, uh, text that already has all the tabs. So just make sure to have only one tab between the text. If there is more than one tab, delete the extra tabs. There it is. Okay, so we have one tab between the text, but the text still are not aligned. As you can see, because Sarah is a smaller word than Jonathan, so the ID is in here, uh, closer to the name, but the seven number is for the ID for Jonathan is uh, have more spacing. So and the, so how we can align this text under each other. The first step is in, uh, where you, when you wanted to use tabs tool, you need to select the text that you wanted to apply the tabs. So first of all, I will select the all text, then go to type and select tabs. Okay, so you don't need to move these uh, tabs uh, tool because it's automatically aligned. The zero is aligned to the left with the selected text. We have a ruler and we have a bunch of arrows and some more things that I will explain about those. Okay, first you need to see what is this arrow. The first one is left justify tab. We have center justified, right justify tab, aligned to decimal tab. If you have a decimal numbers and you want it to align based on the decimal point. Okay, so in here, if you wanted to align these content, for example, from the left justified, you need to only select this arrow and then move this arrow in the space, in the very uh, narrow space on top of this ruler. So just for, and also for each tab, we need only one arrow. So for example, the first arrow, I move it, as you can see here, as I move the arrow, it just align the first tab information and also it's left justified tab. Okay, because the Jonathan is quite long word, we need to move the line uh, arrow to the right of it to fit some spacing between the longest one uh, word and the next item. Okay, so for the next tab also, I wanted to use the same arrow and just click somewhere in this space to find the best spacing. And for the last one tab, I also use another uh, arrow. So as uh, here we have only three tabs in each row, in each line. So we only need three arrows for the whole text. There it is. So you can just simply move the arrow and fix, find the best placing. 
So we still have one tab, but with different spacing, but still everything is aligned together. Okay. Um, if you accidentally click more than one tab, for example, here you see I added, I click more than once in this space and it just added more arrows. Uh, so as you see, they don't, because they are after the last one, so they don't affect anything because we don't have any more tabs after the third tab. So you can just simply drag them and push them out of this tab tool and they will disappear. Okay, so there is one thing here that I wanted to show you and that's the letter. So if you select, for example, this tab, and if I wanted to have some space, some uh, dotted between these items. So you can just simply select the line. So I, I don't want it to have dotted in for the heading of the table, just maybe between the uh, table information or the data information. So you can just select the whole data uh, except the first line. And so we need first select the tab. So this is the first tab. And in the letter, you need to just press, for example, dot. And you can see that fill this gap with dots. Let's select the rest. Select the second tab. And in the letter again, press dot. And this is for the third. Let me select again, and that, that's it. So, okay, I'm done with this table. So let's see, let's, let me close this tabs tool. And if you press W to show in the preview mode, you can see that we have all the data left aligned and we have some dots in between the text. Perfect, but if you don't want it to have the dots, you can select the text again and go back to the type tabs and select each of these tabs. Simply delete the dots and it will remove this uh, dot as a spacing. Um, another thing is, for example, you may want it to align the IDs and I have center justified instead of the left justified. So again, again, we need to select the tabs for that part for us. So that this tab, the first tab is for the ID in here. And instead of using left justified, let me select the arrow and move it out and use a center ID. There it is. So instead of the left justified tab arrow, I select center justified tab and add it in here. And you can see align all these uh, IDs from the center. The same you can use it to uh, if if based on the text, if you wanted to uh, align the text right justified, you can use this arrow. Or if you have some numbers that uh, you wanted to align based on the decimal point, you can use the decimal uh, align to decimal arrow. I hope you find this uh, tutorial useful. And thank you for watching this video.